let's talk about salesforce health cloud and patient 360 let me let me uh, come to a non formal definition of what exactly salesforce health cloud is salesforce health cloud is a is a platform which will help you manage anything and everything related to your healthcare business whether it be a hospital uh, of let's say 20 beds or whether it be a clinic whether it be a laboratory or whether it be a big hospital which has got all of the above uh, and also the communication between the insurance companies and the agencies anything and everything that you need to do and you're looking for a system salesforce health cloud can be the one and when we talk about patient 360 uh it helps you get the data related to your patient from all like all across uh, if you want their uh, electronic health records you can get that if you want their laboratory information or stuff like that uh, you can also get that if you want uh, to identify and like i mean check their prescriptions and the uh, history of their medical records and everything you can do all of that with the help of salesforce health cloud and you must be wondering what exactly is the difference between salesforce health cloud and salesforce platform as a Uh, as a whole so salesforce platform as a whole is for any business that wants to leverage its capabilities but salesforce health cloud is specifically designed and customized for the healthcare industry of course it's built on top of salesforce platform only so it leverages all the uh, features customizations functionalities of salesforce platform but if you want uh, to utilize something which is pre tested by the uh, industry giants of healthcare and also which is al- already pre customized to the needs and requirements of the healthcare industry salesforce health cloud is the one to go for rather than uh, going for salesforce platform of course you can use salesforce platform license and do like ask your implementation partner to do the customizations according to the needs and requirements of your uh, healthcare business but that will uh, be an add on or, or that will add on a lot of time effort and money and even after that you'll not be sure whether that is the uh, best thing to use or not but uh, if you'll be using salesforce health cloud you won't you won't have to worry about literally anything and everything to manage your uh, healthcare business am i correct yeah. okay uh, <laughs> uh so salesforce health cloud started in 2016 uh, again as always and as usual all of the uh, clouds which are developed onto salesforce other than marketing cloud and commerce cloud uses velocity uh, omniscript uh, omniscript and and oh, like omni studio and uh, uh, data raptors, data raptors integration, and integrations so all of these things the core parts which were you know acquired when salesforce did the acquisition of velocity yeah so uh, so salesforce health cloud started with that only and uh, they have i mean continuously developed it according to the needs and requirements of the healthcare industry so this is how it looks like can we have the block diagram please yeah so uh, in this diagram you can see with the help of salesforce health cloud you can uh, utilize the capabilities of sales cloud service cloud community cloud marketing cloud mule St- mule soft and einstein what can you do with the help of the capabilities of say, uh, sales cloud just a second uh with the help of uh, the capabilities that you're going to get with sales cloud you can manage and maintain each and every communication related to your patient related to the payers related to the providers related to the agencies and you can have all of that information uh, at one place to access whenever you need that similarly for with, with the help of service cloud you can manage the cases you can like take care of the cases that comes up every uh, now and then and you can help uh, like you can with the help of service cloud you can get them resolved very easily and quickly in order to support your patients and uh, also the other people involved into the whole cycle of patient management <laughs> uh then comes community cloud which also which allows you to uh, develop portals uh, and communities with the help of which you'll be able to provide people an access to the system uh with rest- uh, with restricted information of course uh with the help of which uh, you can create any kind of yeah whether it be self service portal or a partner portal or if you want to create something else as well so you can do that with you know experience cloud yeah and then comes marketing cloud in order to manage all of your marketing uh, requirements uh, you can use marketing cloud to do just that and then comes mule soft which will take care of all of your integration requirements and then einstein which again is the ai yeah. of salesforce 
uh so, uh, along with uh, so these are the things that we have from the salesforce platform but uh, also the things that are part of salesforce health cloud which typically or usually comes as a separate software altogether or hospital management software which helps you manage all of the hospital related requirements and everything and then the LIMS uh, which is lab information management system then comes electronic health records uh, remote patient monitoring devices nowadays uh, i mean the the technology is advancing so fast that the need for uh, like the nursing staff uh, is reducing because there are devices which are constantly connected to your systems and uh, providing you information about the patient's uh, patient's what health uh, on a regular basis and uh, you can set certain triggers and everything uh, like that with the help of which you can take appropriate measures and do whatever is necessary for them whether it be the uh, i mean variable devices that you uh, provide to your patients and the information that you collect through them or whether you have patients in your uh, i mean in your room or something like that and there are some devices with the help of which you are collecting the data from there itself only then comes uh, iomt devices again the same uh, i mean these are like uh, internet of medical things devices uh, which is just another fancy term uh then comes pharmacy management software uh, so i mean the the communication that needs to be managed with the, uh, from the like from stating the uh, stating or uh, prescribing the prescription to getting the uh, like me medicines delivered or medicines ready or whether the medicines are in stock or not everything can be managed with the help of pharmacy management software that is again a part of salesforce health cloud only and then other salesforce and third party products that you can leverage in order to uh in order to use the best of salesforce health cloud then comes health cloud is a tailor made for your industry as i said earlier as well if you really want uh, the time to market to be very reduced and uh, if you do not want to try your hands on to getting the right things developed and delivered by your implementation partner it's much much better to directly go for the salesforce health cloud licenses and these are the 360 degree views that you you'll be able to get for the patients or uh, you'll be able to access their care plans uh, healthcare contacts the personal contacts their treatment goals uh, and also the tracking of the treatment how is it going whether it is going in the right direction or not what were the initial goals that we set are we meeting those goals or not then the schedule of patients uh, the appointments related to that and then the notes uh, and the history that you have had related to the patient uh, which is important for all of their journey of uh getting cured then the medications and the diagnosis all of these things you can access at one place which is going to help uh, not only doctors uh, not only care providers uh, but the whole ecosystem or the the complete team of people who are trying to improve the health of the individual uh, work very efficiently and uh, proactively yeah. i guess that's what patient 360 is uh do you have anything to say about that patient 360 you have basically uh, you have covered almost everything in that that's what i always do yeah, that's what i always do so it is everything is covered there so uh, you need not to worry about anything you have a complete uh, you know understanding a unified view for your patients you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to go to a different screen or somewhere you have all the information whether it's be the personal information whether it be the clinical data whether it be the assessments whether it be you know the ehr records itself only or whether any engagement that you had with that particular person so all of that information is accessible to you and whichever industry is using health cloud whether it be the hospital clinics the payer basically the insurance company or the pharmaceuticals or biomedical uh, biomedical uh, biotech companies so they can also use that so yeah it is a complete solution that everyone can use in addition to that then we have you know uh, the capability of uh, having care plans there to ensure that we are giving the right care and right treatment to the patient that has come to us or that has been you know a part of our uh, network so we can do all of that and then uh, we have the capability of you know maintaining all the contact related information like who is the caregiver or uh, like it could be the spouse it could be the son or daughter or if you have any caregiver that uh, has been assigned from the provider from the hospital itself only so we have all of that information available to us in the single view thanks to the capabilities uh, you know taken from salesforce industries aka velocity so we have all of that and if i talk about you know uh, in the patient 360 view we also have the capability of integration with ehrs and variable devices as we have explained we have the capability of you know integrating with the devices which keep 
keeps track of all the health vitals and you know set triggers on that so iomt is internet of medical things it um, incorporates each and everything that you have to do that have to deal with health okay whether it be the smart watch whether it be the smart scale whether it be the continuous blood glucose monitor or whether it be the you know uh, blood uh, blood pressure monitor or anything like that so you have all of that then you have the capability of setting up triggers so once you set up triggers you are now remotely monitoring your patients if the blood glucose level is spiking you have a case created and then you can simply take action on that so that is also possible and then uh, with the advanced analytics and ai we can provide personalized treatment plans the care plans and then we can identify gaps as well and then all of that will help us deliver the right care and right treatment to the patients